Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can add a video to YouTube. So I just created a, another video for someone else in the phone sites group in terms of how to append opt-in data to Calendly. Um, so that video, I'll be adding that to YouTube, but I wanted to record the process. That way you can see how easy it is to add in a video to YouTube to use in your own phone sites funnel. So um, what you're going to need to do is if you're using Loom or some other software, you're going to need to have the actual file downloaded. So I just downloaded this MP4 file. Um, you, uh, Loom is pretty easy to use. I love it. It's great. I, I, they have a paid plan, but I only use the free plan. So all you have to do is just download it. And then once it's on your local machine, you can add this to YouTube. So I'm going to head on over to YouTube now. And I'm going to... Once you have a, a like a, a channel set up with your account, then you can um, upload videos to that. So I already have a channel set up, but once you're here at YouTube, um, you're going to you're going to see this little option up here that says create a video or post. It looks like a little camera button, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I definitely suggest trying to do this on a laptop or a desktop. Um, could probably do it on a uh, like on the app on your mobile device, especially if it's Android. If it's uh, a Mac product, it might be a little bit trickier. I, I've uh, I've tried it personally on an iPad, and um, it was a little difficult just because of how <laughs> Apple closes down their ecosystem. It doesn't really want to work with Google so well, right? Um, <laughs> that's my opinion. Anyways, um, so anyways, I'm going, I'm, I'm in my Chrome browser. I'm in YouTube. This is super simple. All I have to do is just click this button here really quickly and then select upload video and select files to upload. Now I would, so I would suggest initially keep this as unlisted um, or you could set it to private. Private will only allow um, for viewing if uh, like if you were to share, uh, let's see, I, I believe it's if you share the link with someone else and they're able to see it, but you can't embed it, I believe. Unlisted, you can you can embed that, so you can embed it like in your phone sites page if you wanted to, or, or elsewhere, and um, also share the, the the link, and then people will be able to see it if it's either embedded um, or shared. But they won't be able to search for this, right? Um, they won't be. They certainly won't be able to search for this and find it if it's private, public. Well, anyone on YouTube will be able to find it at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and opt for unlisted for right now. The reason why I'm going to keep it as unlisted is because I might need to go in there and, and make some edits first before I actually want to publish this. Maybe I'll determine that it's not actually the video I want to upload at the moment, right? Especially if I set up some automation, which I've done in the past to have your videos uploaded. Um, if you create a video and it drops and starts the automation process of uploading it, it might be a video that you decide, well, I, I don't really want it out of my channel right now. I need to actually replace it with a better video. So that's why you'd want to opt for selecting unlisted um, through the automation. You can't do automation here through YouTube. You'd have to do that through like Zapier, for example. Um, enough of that. Let's move on. So I'm going to go ahead and select this button here. Actually, it doesn't really look like a button, does it? Um, it looks like more, more like an image, but select that and then go to, let's see, downloads, select my video here, select open. And I'm going to rename this how to... Okay, so I just called it uh, how to pin opt-in data to third-party scheduler. And in this case, I'm using Calendly. So all this data that you see in here, this is all pre-populated for my channel. So that way when um, either do we are adding in content into YouTube, it already adds in all this stuff down here, like dragging YouTube websites and all that kind of good stuff, right? And then also these are tags um, that are automatically added in for our channel. So uh, I'm just going to clarify. So I didn't put that in the title up here because uh, I believe 70 characters is optimal and, and I don't actually know how many characters I have in there, but that's probably around 70. Let's just assume that it is. Okay, next step, I want to change this from unlisted to, uh, let's see, public and then add a playlist. 
So I have different playlists in here, right? Um, I'm going to put it under phone sites training, five minute funnels, just like that. And so all the, the videos that we create for phone sites, we put it into this playlist there. And then if I had a, a particular um, thumbnail that I could use, then I could add that in there. Um, technically, I should be using a custom thumbnail, but I'm lazy and I don't actually do that. Um, <laughs> and let's go with that one there. That one's fine. And I'm going to go under advanced settings. And I think there's one change that I make over here. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, comments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing the change that I used to make. Uh, maybe it was that. No. Okay. All good there. All right. Select publish. So that's done. And then you get a, a URL from YouTube. And so if I wanted to go into phone sites and embed this now, let's just do that. Pretty simple. Let's go to the dashboard real quick. And let's go into test. Let's go into my homepage. So I don't have a video block added in here, but let's go ahead and add in a, a video block. Got automation set up for Slack to notify whenever we upload YouTube videos. Okay, go to YouTube. And that URL that I copied over here from YouTube, I'm going to replace it here. And I know the, the quality looks a little grainy. It's just because YouTube is still rendering on their side. So it should be good in like a minute or two. Select save. And let's go ahead and view this. So there's our video. And again, the quality is a little iffy right now just because it's still technically rendering over there on YouTube side. But this is all good to go. If I were to go out to our channel, so let's do that. My channel. And let's pause that before it starts making music. Let's go into playlists. So then. Hey there, so. Stop. <laughs> um, now that should be at the very bottom. So that's the, the video that I just added to that playlist. All right. And so I think right now the default quality, it's setting it at 720. Okay, cool. All right, hopefully that is pretty simple and easy to follow. Let us know if you have any questions, guys.